What's good, YouTube? And we back with another reaction video. We about to react to how good was Calvin Johnson actually? One of my favorite receivers of all time. I think he's a top five. I mean, the least you gonna put him is top five, bro. I mean, a lot of people be having a little arguments about him retiring early and shit like that, but he wasn't the best I ever seen, bro. Him, Moss. I, like I seen, I, man, I seen like the last of Jerry Rice, uh, like you know what I'm saying, at the back end of his career. But uh, in his prime, I was too, really too little, like to really be understanding football a lot. But uh, as far as I seen in a prime, and I and I know it's Randy Moss right there on TV, Calvin Johnson and Teal, them them my, them the three right there. I, I, Jerry Rice number one. Jerry Rice the best receiver of all time. You can put Moss there if you want, but. If you want to be real, Jerry Rice is the best receiver of all time. But Calvin Johnson, probably Calvin Johnson and T.O. battling for my favorite receiver of all time. But we about to hop right into this reaction. I'm trying to get this channel to fucking 6K subs because I'm about to be approaching 5K subs in the next couple of days. So um, let's try to get the channel to 6,000 subs, man. My goal is to get to 10K. Um, so, so I'm damn near halfway to my goal. So I appreciate everybody that's been tapped in. It's the best sports reaction channel on YouTube. My other subs will vouch for that. For the new watchers that's just joining in. But with that being said, we about to hop right into it, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Calvin Johnson, better known by fans as Megatron, had one of the most intriguing careers in NFL history. Megatron was on track to becoming one of the best receivers of all time before right. suddenly retiring at the I mean, age of 30 after playing only nine seasons in the NFL. His retirement shocked the NFL world. While most players retire due to an injury or being too old, Johnson hung up his cleats while he was still performing at an elite level. In fact, Megatron's 1,214 yards were the most receiving yards in a player's final season in NFL history, and his 88 receptions were the second most all-time for a player's last year. Additionally, how many players retire following being named to the Pro Bowl for a sixth consecutive season? But that's exactly what Johnson did in 2016. That's he ended crazy. his career on a high note, but how good was Calvin Johnson actually before his abrupt departure from the sport? The star wide receiver grew up in Georgia near Atlanta. From an early age, Johnson was much bigger than the average person. In middle school, he was six feet tall. And by his sophomore year of high school, mm. Johnson was six foot four. His size helped Johnson develop into not only one of the top wide receivers, but also one of the top overall high school hey, prospects in the entire country. He was a three year starter for his high school's varsity team and rated as a top 10 wide receiver, top 100 overall prospect, and five-star recruit by the majority of recruiting services. Johnson chose to stay close to home and play for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets over other national powerhouses, such as Georgia, Miami, and Notre Dame. At Georgia Tech, Johnson easily adjusted to playing the game at the next level. In just his second career collegiate game, Megatron had eight catches for 127 mm. yards and three touchdowns in a victory over the Clemson Tigers. He finished his freshman campaign with 48 receptions for 837 yards and eight touchdowns, which were all crazy. Georgia Tech freshman records. A nice start to his college career earned him the honor of being named to the Atlantic Coast Conference's first team and freshman All-American first team. Johnson also won ACC Rookie of the Year. He found himself on the ACC's first team again the following season after leading the Yellow Jackets with 54 catches for 888 yards and six touchdowns. Additionally, Megatron was named an All-American and a semifinalist for the Fred Boletnikoff Award, which is awarded annually to the nation's top wide receiver. While Johnson's first two seasons of college football were impressive, his junior year catapulted him into a whole new level of stardom. He had 76 catches for 1,202 yards and 15 touchdowns that season. Those 1,202 receiving yards and 15 receiving touchdowns set single season school records at Georgia Tech. Johnson racked up more than just a lot of yards that year as he brought home numerous awards and honors. He was a first team all ACC selection for the third straight year when ACC player of the year was named a unanimous All-American and won the Boletnikoff Award. As a result of this stellar season, Johnson decided to forego his senior year at Georgia Tech to enter the NFL draft. 
With just three seasons spent as a Yellow Jacket, Johnson ranks first in school history in career receiving yards, second in catches, first in receiving touchdowns, and first in career 100-yard receiving games. Mm. Johnson was well, so crazy. dominant in college that he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility in 2018. Johnson mm. was already an attractive prospect based on his size and college stats, but he added to the hype surrounding him through his performance at the NFL Combine. For a 6'5", 239-pound receiver, scouts were blown away by him running the 40-yard dash in only 4.35 seconds. That's His vertical crazy. and broad jumps were 42.5 and 139 inches respectively, placing him in the top 98th percentile and above for both. He demonstrated a combination of height, strength, speed, and overall athleticism that teams had never really seen before in a receiver. Because of this, Johnson was labeled a can't-miss talent and was selected by the Detroit Lions for the second overall pick in the 2007 draft. Hampered some by a lower back injury, Johnson's rookie season with the Lions was nothing special. He appeared in 15 games for Detroit and started 10 of them while totaling 48 catches for 756 yards and four receiving touchdowns that year. While the total numbers weren't eye-popping, averaging 15.8 yards per catch was a sign of what was to come for Megatron. Johnson's second year in the NFL was much more memorable, for good and bad reasons. Megatron had a great year for himself, with 78 receptions for 1,331 yards mm. and 12 touchdowns. He finished fifth in the league in receiving yards and led the NFL in receiving touchdowns. Johnson accomplished this on a team that went 0-16 that season. One could argue that his performance was even more impressive because of the bad team he was on Fact. and the fact that he played with five different quarterbacks that year. People attributed this to the Lions' poor record. Megatron's first career Pro Bowl came in his fourth year in the league after totaling 77 catches for 1,120 yards and 12 touchdowns during the 2010 season. It was an honor that Johnson would go on to receive each season until his eventual retirement. Johnson built off of his first Pro Bowl year with a 2011 season that led to him being viewed as one of the top receivers in the game. He set career highs in all three major categories by amassing 96 catches, 1,681 yards, and 16 touchdowns. Johnson finished fourth in the NFL in receptions, first in receiving yards, and second in touchdowns that season. In a Week 17 matchup with the Green Bay Packers, Megatron had 244 receiving yards, which was a career best at the time meaning he somehow topped that performance later in his career. That year, Johnson even helped Detroit reach the playoffs for the first time since 1999. Prior to the 2012 season, Johnson signed an eight-year extension with the Lions, worth $132 million, with $60 million guaranteed, Money. making him the highest-paid receiver in the NFL. During the same offseason, Megatron was named as the cover athlete for the Madden 13 video game. Johnson did not rest on his laurels following his performance in 2011 and exciting offseason. He managed shit. to take his game to another level in 2012, as he led the league in receptions and receiving yards with 122 catches for 1,964 yards. Megatron became the only player in the Super Bowl era to average over 120 yards per game in a season. And he also broke Jerry Rice's record for most receiving yards in a season. Mm. The following three years, Johnson was as team. solid as a wide receiver comes. He averaged 81 receptions team. for 1,261 yards and nearly 10 touchdowns over those seasons. After the 2015 season, Johnson retired from the NFL. The rumor is that he wanted the Lions to release or trade him because he was tired of losing with them, but they refused to do so. So he just retired. There are also versions of the story that revolve around him retiring due to health issues. Either way, Johnson's NFL career came to a close after just nine seasons. His 11,619 receiving yards rank third in a player's first nine NFL seasons, with only Torrey Holtz and Jerry Rice having more than him. From the time Johnson entered the league in 2007, no player had more receiving yards, receiving touchdowns, or 100-yard games than he did. Among those who have played in at least 100 career games, no player in NFL history has averaged more receiving yards per game than Johnson's 86.1. There may be some controversy surrounding his reason or decision for retiring so early in his career. There's no doubt that Calvin Johnson should be considered one of the most dynamic players of all time. For sure. Now just, just imagine if he had an Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Matthew Stafford, but I'm talking about like as far as like the teams with all the weapons and shit, bro. Oh my god, bro. Shit would have been ugly, man.
What y'all think uh, Mega Tron ranked all time? I think he top uh, at the least, at the least top five, at the least top five. Cause you you got Jerry, you got um, uh, T.O., you got Moss. Uh, and you can put whoever you want. Uh, you got your Michael Irvins and shit like that. But I got Calvin Johnson top five for sure, for sure. But uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Now, this was a good reaction, good video. Um, hopefully, I get some new subs off this video. Um, tap in, subscribe, like the video, comment. Um, I appreciate y'all. Let's try to get the channel to 6,000 subs. Um, with that being said, y'all stay safe, stay tuned, and we out. Be great.